Is Orange Theory a Ponzi scheme? Have you heard of anybody that goes to Orange Theory? What the no, f is Orange Theory? No, dude. I I I, I, I f agree with you in that. Like when you see them, it never looks like anyone's working. Yeah, you're out like, there. what? It's like a Jehovah Witnesses church. Yeah, you're like, dude. you're like looking in. You're like, what the f is dude. this? <laughs> and is all the f is all the mob wives going in there pretending to ride bikes and f exactly. but they're just counting money. <laughs> I'm working on myself today. Yeah, yeah. Bingo. My name is Stretch. This is the last time you mess with Stretch. And fade. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. L ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever you are, wherever you are, we are back with another riveting, sexy episode of Stretch and Fade. And we want to, you know, be clear about something up top here. This is not a limited series run. It's limited to two a month for now. That's all. That's the only thing limited about it. But as far as timeline, we are not stopping anytime soon. How do you know that, dude? Because, man, I know. How do you, you know, you, you act like you're the big head honcho, but we have, there are strings that pull us. <laughs> We're not the puppet masters. I mean, even right now, we got somebody from corporate on the call. This is true. Ovi, is true. Can, can can you say something? Proof of life. I am here from corporate. Always watching, always listening. Always censoring everything we say. You don't even know how many times I go on absolute tirades that they cut yeah. out. We sit here and record for three and a half hours usually. And yeah. I and the, I go on YouTube every fucking once in a blue moon when they decide to put out one of these episodes. And I'm yeah. like, oh, let me, oh, it's only an, an hour long? Yeah. What the what the hell happened there? You know? Yeah. Yeah, we have to cut out all of Hunter's rants about, you know, how he should be the only fat person on earth and um <laughs> that is a, that's something I feel very passionate about. Yes. That is true. I feel very very passionately about that. I I toss and turn at night. I take my CPAP machine. I fucking throw it off my body yeah. and I'm like, you know, what? I freak out. Yeah. Why does anyone else Get to eat. You you exercise, dude? I just got in from Boise, man. I'm I'm feeling delirious. Are you? A little bit, but it was good. It was it was it was interesting. Like the do you feel delirious from the all the travel or do you feel delirious just from being in Idaho? Uh delirious from the travel and a little bit of Idaho. You ever been there? I no. feel like you would I've only driven there. through. Mm. You've I've always wanted to stop and get a potato though from there because they you know they grow a lot of potatoes in Idaho. Hey man, I could say I had some fries there. Pretty good. Ta Top five fry experience, easily. Top five? I would say top five. What's I your top? Know. What's your one? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Deeply. Well, you just you just you shot from the hip right there, so I thought you had them kind of like like this is something you thought about. I might get I might get a lot of shit for this because this is a really touristy thing to say, but I do have to say, like in the top three are the these little fry stands in Amsterdam. Okay. They, they I, that's, I've never had fries from Amsterdam, so I don't know. The fries themselves are not particularly special, but it's like the sauces and stuff you can get with it and the experience of just buying a big ass, you know, um, like you get a cup of fries and you think it's going to be like 10 of them, but it's like five. It's like five fingers. It's like they hacked off the hand of the potato man yeah. and put it in a cup. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, These pictures good. are deceiving. They're deceiving. The The fries feel much bigger. That looks disgusting. Whatever the fuck that is with yeah. diced onions, you that is making me gag. No, no, no. Here we go. Here we go. No, let's be real. Can I just fucking cut the shit for a second? Yeah. Is there actually anything better than just McDonald's fries? Can I, can yeah. I, just, can I just put that on the fucking record? I don't think that there is. I don't think anything can compete with the golden delicious McDonald's fries. I, I co-sign in that I think they are they are very hard to beat, but I think there are a few that beat them. There are. I want to know. I want that. I would love to know. I'd love to experience that. Now, as far as like worldwide consumption, get it anytime, anywhere, and consistency. I don't think anything can, can beat the Mickey D's. Well, oh, that's uh, okay. I, I agree with that because like you know, I've always and in wanted, that way. I, I, I think they're number one. Because of that, because you can't like you could name you could rattle out like some yeah. snob. I'd be listening to this right now and be like, "You haven't had the fries from yeah, you've never place. been to Wyoming and gotten whatever yeah. The fuck yeah, yeah, yeah." That's one place. But that's can you can can who is producing chemically induced 
Yeah, yeah. Potato Give me fries. some plastic with my fries, dude. What the fuck are we doing? People are always like, oh, these are organic. These are straight, hey, from farm to table. Bullshit, dude. Put them through a factory. Yeah. Put some fucking Elmer's glue on them or whatever the fuck they do. Yep. Deep fry them and give yep. me that delicious golden crunch. That's all I yeah. want. All right? Yeah. Now everything else at McDonald's, I can't say like I'm not going to go on a limb for, you know, <laughs> but goddamn do those fries. They, they know how to, and I think they know it too. It's kind of like the yeah. hot girl who knows that she's like, you know, terrible attitude, but she has nice perky tits and she just knows. <laughs> I don't have to work on my attitude. I got the nice golden fries. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's actually what I think every time I eat <laughs> McDonald's fries. I yeah. think I'm I'm getting a privileged look yeah, at yeah, America's yeah. golden breasts. I, yeah. I, it, it, just for a time. Just for a God, time. I hate you. I say that too. I, I grab him and I'm like, God, I hate you. I wish I could quit you. Yeah. Just eat him but, up. You know, but you know, there she is. Like, you wish you could quit me, Hunter. Exactly. Fuck you. That's what I pretty much just said. Fuck you. I'm like, and, you, <clears throat> and you're like, step on me. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Take your high heels and drive them into my balls. Kick me as hard as you can in the nuts several times. I, I want you to... I've, I've seen a couple of videos of those of recent. Yeah, yeah. All the dudes or whatever those anime, yeah, you know, diddle cons. Yeah. You know, the thing too is like those girls really don't lean into it. If a guy, if that sweaty fucking guy, you know, he smells like cheddar, like Velveeta cheese or whatever. Yep. He comes up and he's like, um, uh, appreciate, uh, you know. Ori son, hello. Uh, I was wondering if uh, you could kick me in the balls, and you're just like, "Who the fuck are you?" I would, I would break my foot off into that guy's fucking taint. That's how hard I would kick him. But yeah, they kind of just barely do it, and they just like strike a pose. And I'm like, "Don't even be cute with it." I mean, reel into that motherfucker. Yeah. Use part of your, use part of your shin just to fuck. I mean, obliterate that guy's nutsack. Can you even say you're into nut kicking? If you get little like kind of untrained taps like that, I don't even think you can fully say you like it because I think you can only say it is if you call it out and you're just like that was nothing. Kick, I mean, kick me. But yeah, yeah, they never they never do that. I think I wonder how much of that too is like the last little bit of self, like uh, like it's uncomfortable. Like it's a slight post nut clarity after they do it. Like the high is over from asking for it, and they're like, That's oh fair. wow, that was really. I, I need to leave. You know, yeah, I've, embar I've embarrassed myself, and then they run off. But what, what I'm saying is if you've only ever experienced nut kicking and mm -hmm. like the the pounds of pressure, you know, it's like sub a couple PSI. Like if you never really felt the force of it. Yeah. You know? It's like can you say you like hard drugs if you haven't done cocaine? You know what I mean? Like Yeah, if you're all you're doing is smoking weed, can you really just be like, I'm into you know, I do hard drugs. Yeah. It's like if you sit there and you still see your kids, can you really be like, I'm an alcoholic? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think if, if you hit them, nine to if, five, if, you, if you hit the kids, you can definitely say you're an alcoholic. Yeah, no, if you, if you keep around, the kids are fucking all beaten up, sure. But I'm saying if you work <laughs> a nine to five and you go home and put food on the table, can your wife really call you out for being an alcoholic? I don't think so, man. I, think I don't fair. think so. No, I don't think so. If you're sitting there and you're, you show up late to work, maybe sometimes, but you're still working nine to five and you bring yeah. home bread for the table. Can your boss really call you out for drinking on the job? Is this is this for the show or is this for for no, <laughs> Alex? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm saying if there's somebody watching, if there's a particular viewer who lives with me, who's in a, a legally binding contract with me, I guess you probably couldn't say they're an alcoholic then, could you, Noel? Yeah, no, no. The answer is no. <laughs> this whole show is one big ruse so you can make income to just prove that you're a fucking reliable husband financially exactly. and it's okay that you drink your fucking <laughs> liver to death as I, as I drink my as I drink my oh my god wow that is delicious yeah this is uh, it's funny that you say that because I used promo code meat candy at checkout here and I was able to get this new <laughs> flavor blue razzle that one would be having really from gamers which stuff, I like it, it because uh, Noel it's keto friendly okay? Oh, okay and also there's zero sugar Got Delicious. It. That's that's good. That's from Gamer Subs, right? Absolutely. Got it. Cool. G A M E R. Yeah. S U P P S. P P S. Right. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Would you would you get um a little a uh, ball torture on camera for the show? In what aspect? Well, I don't know. We just Well, fire. so what do I gain from this? Like is it my, just for the show? Just to be a pal? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, well, l let's be honest, all right? Because I okay. don't think I want to put this out there even for our viewers. Let's okay. be honest. Okay. Our fucking relationship, all right, mm -hmm. sweetie, sweetheart, yep. is transactional, okay? Okay. You know that. 
Every time I've ever tried to reach out and be a mensch to you, what do you do? I'm too busy. What's what's in it for me? Yeah. What's in it for me? Every time. So now if I'm having to do some ball torture or something like that, that what do I say is what's in it for me? That's what I say. I, you might get to come. Okay, well that's a perk. Yeah. Little come. But, but my ball torture, my like if, if I'm doing it, then it's just masturbation on camera, and that's fucking lame. Well, all right, fair. What if right? okay? What if we do? What if we hire a dominatrix to kick you in the balls several times, and then we put it on our OnlyFans, mm. and it could be, um, what what's the what's the entrepreneur phrase for money that comes in your sleep? Uh, Asian kids making it. What do they call that? Dropshipping. Yeah, when when money is just turning while you sleep. When money is turning while you sleep, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that residual income? There you residual go. income. Okay. Yeah. Make you a little residual income off the OnlyFans. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready for the wild with their game-changing full body grooming and hygiene products. So you're not the guy at the beach with the awesome powers chest hair. Oh, behave. It's time to get ready for Hot Guy Summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code STRETCH. Yeah. Being well-maintained and looking good can mean feeling good and confident, <laughs> which is where our friends at Manscaped come in. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. The kit comes with the essential Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. The trimmer features a ceramic blade designed to cut hair on loose skin <laughs> and reduce grooming accents thanks to the advanced skin safe technology. Inside the performance package, you'll also find the Weed Whacker 2.0, Manscaped Crop Preserver, Ball Deodorant, and Crop Revival Ball Toner, an anti chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. Mmm, no flaky, smooth like an egg. You also get two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag, uh, a $39 value, and the patented high-performance reduced chafing manscape boxers. Oh, yeah. Get 20% off and free shipping with promo code STRETCHED at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code STRETCH at manscaped.com. Trim your chesticles and besticles with Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped. Hugs and kisses from me, Stretch. I tell you about a thought that I've unironically had for OnlyFans, and this isn't yeah. this isn't even a joke because I've thought about taking like 8K resolution uh, photos of my asshole. What's like, stopping you? I I mean I'm married. I don't know. I feel I in a way it feels wrong. It feels dirty. I guess. Yeah. But then part of me also thinks like whoever. First off, what do I have to hide? Right. Is my yeah. asshole dirty? Probably. But at the yeah. same time, I'm sitting there and I'm like, what if I became, what if I took care of my future, my children's future off of 8K resolution, perfectly lit photos of my asshole? And I even do costume sets like we do a Santa Claus theme. <laughs> we do Halloween theme. We do an Easter theme, anything. And it's just beautiful, high def. And at the end of it, at the end of this little escapade, I make a coffee book, a okay. coffee table book of my these beautiful pictures yeah some of them single you know the beautiful images nice cardstock paper yeah. and then beautiful two page spreads these asshole pictures sometimes yeah. i'm sometimes i'm bleached sometimes some hair is grown in yeah i think well, that there could be a, a very diverse collection and then sometimes i even do collabs okay. i don't know how the collabs happen probably somebody on top of me spreading their asshole and there would be a little totem pole yeah. of assholes. Yeah. Like, imagine this. There's yeah. a post of you on top of me. All yeah. right. You're paying. Well, let's you're let's calm down. Let's hold calm on down. a second. Your cock. Your cock hold on a second. I'm, I'm giving me hypothetical. Okay. All right. Your cock isn't touching me or anything. Your balls and everything. I'm saying that you, but you're on top. Okay. Your asshole's there. I'm in the middle. And then like somebody else could be Cody or Ryan. I don't know. Fuck. Who's someone else? Ben. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. Ben's the tallest. It'd be easiest to have him be on bottom. Yeah. And it's just three assholes. Gay men. Right? You don't see life. you don't see you don't see balls, taint, cock, none of that. I'm just saying it's just is literally 8K resolution. You could see the skin follicles and the yeah. zits, because I got it. You know, you ever see those unattractive asses where it's just like looks like 
looks like a fucking eighth grader's beard. You know what I'm talking about? It's like patchy. There's the fucking zits on it. There's hairs erratically, whatever. It'd be that, except you could see every follicle, everything. And I mean, you'd be able to look at, you could scroll infinitely. It's almost like a goddamn vector image. You could scroll into and be like, oh my God, beautiful. But it is assholes at the end of the day. It's your asshole out yeah. there forever. Yeah. Would you, would that be something you'd be interested in? <laughs> you know, you can also just say, no, it's fine. I'm just saying that this is, le this is a legitimate business. You know how daddy, you know how daddy paid for the, your, your Harvard education, sweetheart? Not this story again, dad. Yeah. Me, through your, through that coffee book. buddies. <laughs> yeah. Me and my buddies and that little coffee book, table book that we made. That's having you go through Harvard Law, sweetheart. Yeah. So remember, hey, remember them roots is what I would say. <laughs> right? I know you think you're all big time now and you think you're all smart and stuff, but guess what? Remember remember your roots where you came from, all right? Daddy's butthole paid for this. Yeah, your my my asshole paid for all of this. She's like, "How wow, did, how did we get here doctor. from what's in it for me?" It went from what's in it for me to this full-on business pitch where I'll you're tell almost you, I'll tell you what happened. I had to make my own way, dude. Welcome to my life, <laughs> all right? Because you gave me an obstacle. You said you could come, and I said yeah. I reject that because I'm a I'm an abider of the secret. Okay, I'm manifesting my that future. Mean? The fucking the secret. Oh, the secret. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fucking secret, dude. I'm manifesting this reality into existence. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Are you big? Do you, do you believe in manifestation? Um, yeah. Really? Like unironically? No. No. <laughs> Just a, yes. Really? Mm, no. No, I, I don't either. My mom used to do that. My mom goes through all the phases of the uh, manifestation, of everything, or just like you know, every like oh wait, self help kind of shit. Hold on, hard hard pause here. Hmm. Mama Hunter wants to go on foul tip. What do you mean? She wants to go on Zach and Waleed's show. Then do it. I don't know. What are you gonna are you gonna let her? Oh yeah. No, I just wanted to let you know. See if you had mm. some qualms about it so I could no. override them. Everybody everybody found the episode. And it's yeah. not a high it's pissed and pit. The podcast is called Piss and Pit. I can't even hide it. <laughs> Motherfuckers just immediately went on and they're like, actually it's this. I've listened to episodes and it's really good. <laughs> you know what? If you guys want to listen and you know what? My mom, she texted me, she's called me and been like, We got done finishing our studio set. They have built a studio. Everything. They are they're they're more legitimate than we are, Noel. So then we should make Zach and Waleed go on Pissed and Pickled then. I think that would be great. Yeah. You know what they should do? They should fly to Missouri yep. and be on the set. Yep. Agreed. And if you guys were real men, if you guys are a real network, and I'm talking to you, Noel, because I know that you're one of the fucking top dogs. I can see your little collar up there. You'd fly my mother out to LA. You would treat oh. her right. That was and you already... guys would put her on the suit the, the, the put her on the show. That was already in the cards. <laughs> that was already in the cards. That's okay. Yeah. All I, I request, all I request is that you blur her. <laughs> you put a giant blur over my mother. <laughs> you don't let anybody see her or those fucking ice cold eyes. <laughs> oh my god, dude. The way you guys talk to each other is is hysterical. What do you mean? You don't know. How do you know how I talk to my mom? I sat there and ate with you guys. Oh for shit! She was yeah. Yeah, I forgot that you were. Yeah, we were in the <laughs> same spot. <laughs> I already that that memory has already like just shot out of the back. Evaporated of my head. your brain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't know if we really had a chance to say no because we recorded first. What was the name of the place we went to? The Peanut. The Peanut, Kansas City. Oh my goodness! What did I tell you? I didn't. I didn't have doubts. But I put. I put uh, people. This is the thing, dude. You know, Louis C.K. had that fucking bit, and he it was funny because Louis C.K. I'm pretty sure when he did this stand up bit, he was he talked about how he was doing a show, and it was at the Uptown, the place that you played, mm. and he's like, "Well, what else am I supposed to do in Kansas City? Nothing, Blah. right?" And I was sitting there, and I'm like, "You fat fuck." Yeah, there's so many hidden little gems, but I will say the uh, the peanut man. I mean, like the food in Kansas City is insane. It's fucking yeah. crazy. But the peanut, I swear to God, best wings on earth. Don't even fucking at me. I've I took in some friends there. I've lost relationships there because I'll Why? take people there and they're like, oh, it's okay. I'm like, get the fuck out. I'm never. I literally yeah. am never going to talk to you again. I mean, hey, you could trust my opinion. I've eaten wings in almost every state. 
I mean, you have you've every- been uh, you've I think you've done comedy shows on every continent on this planet. Yeah, just about. I don't know who I don't know what who you're trying to prove to, but you have stepped down in front of a microphone on every continent on this planet and told jokes as if it's like some kind of fucking crusade. And I'll sit there and I'll be like, hey, Noel, <laughs> when's it going to be enough? And he kind of turned back to me like that fucking guy. Who's the guy Never. that drops the ring in fucking when he's like, oh, a seal door, a seal door in Lord of the Rings. Put the ring in the fire. And he fucking turns around. And he's like, no, that's yeah. pretty much how you looked at it. You're a seal door, yeah. dude. Yeah. You said that exactly. Never. As you get on a fucking private jet and I like watch you take off. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, if I'm making enough money from shows to fly PJs, no that'd shit. be something. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank today's sponsor, my bookie. MLB is finally back in full swing. And that is a joke you get because you watch baseball. And my bookie wants to be your one stop shop for all your betting needs. Lock in futures on your favorite club to win the World Series. Or take advantage of crazy boosted odds via the MyBookie money bag. MyBookie makes it simple for you to sign up and play. You bet, you win, and they pay! (laughs) Whether you're a diehard or a casual fan, simply put, there's never been a better time to start exploring the world of online sports betting with MyBookie. Sign up today at MyBookie and use promo code STRETCH to secure a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. It's simple. Deposit $200 and play $300 instantly. Just use promo code STRETCH to claim your bonus. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Private jets are fucking expensive. You would think that, you know, I, I've always been, my, my worldview has been skewed on private jets. Why? Because you've been on one? No, no, no. I've never been on one. Well, I, mm-hmm. I think it's always somewhere it's like, ah, you, you, it's like another, it's like a step above first class. Like if a first class ticket's 800 bucks, you'd be like, yeah, yeah like 1500 bucks. You could probably, no, no, it's insane. Cause it, I'll tell you why I got skewed because movies, people just yeah. are on them left and right. Right. It's true. That's but true. then also back in 2020, 2019, I'm sorry. Is my story boring you? No. Okay. Just making sure. I just saw you yawn. So I didn't know. Um, hey man. Just continue. Keep doing your little story. Keep telling your cute little story. Keep telling your the, cute little story. Uh, in 2020, <laughs> it's the fucking Shane Dawson documentary with Jeffrey Star. I, ah. watched those two, I watched those two goofy bastards fly on private jets back and forth. But then I forgot, oh, wait, Jeffrey yeah. Star's like a fucking billionaire. Yeah. And then also Shane Dawson, he's acting all cute and quirky. He's like, I've never made money before off YouTube. I don't yeah, even know what's right, going on. dude. Motherfucker clean, cleaned up. Yeah. That dude... Made like thirty million dollars off that makeup drop, had yeah. some of the most petty fucking drama, and then like dropped off the face of the earth. Yep, fucked off forever with with bags. You know what Big I say to that? Bags. You know what I say to that? Mm. King. Yeah, got King it. King behavior. Out. Imagine having your entire brand be like I'm. A, I'm a goofy, misunderstood guy. Yeah, I'm here with my husband and all my friends. We're quirky. Yeah. Conspiracy theories, and then you make, and then you make like fifty million dollars in a year, <laughs> and then you just say, "Forget about it." And you just yeah. fuck off. Yeah, the whole thing, and the whole thing too is he used this documentary, right? <laughs> I mean, h- over a hundred million views across the whole thing. Yeah, a whole series, right? Yeah, makeup's my whole passion. Drops one thing, forget about it. Yep, I'm done. Honestly, I'm finding who I am as a person through makeup. This is crazy. Jeffrey's really opened me up. I'm like a flower. I'm like a flower. And people are like, oh my God, I feel just like Shane. I wish I was as comfortable as my skin. I fucked off. Yep. Out dropped of one thing, dropped one fucking thing with the best PR campaign I've ever seen in my life and fucked off. And one of my favorite views of this was he kept doing montages of like when James Charles fucking singing in that mall. Jesus yeah. Christ. One of the cringiest fucking things. And then Jeffree Star. It's all these people in malls. What the fuck? People, the only thing keeping the, the doors open are YouTubers in malls. Mr. Beast opening up a fucking pop-up shop which oh, bro. in a mall, which is like, yeah. bro, what the fuck are you think? And then uh, J- Jeffree Star, whatever. Hey, and man, then Shane that, Dawson that fucking, coming hey, out of the that back. That Kansas City Westfield, some, someone's got to be putting the money through there. 
I'm going to try to make my own. I'm going to try to do my own pop up. We have about <laughs> four or five fucking dilapidated walls in Kansas City. I'm going to open up a fucking a Funko Pop shop. It's going to be Funko Pops of me. Meet Canyon's Funko Pop shop. And I'm just going to be like, <laughs> that's going to be the on the window decals. It's just soy faces. Like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, my favorite part of that whole, the whole docuseries is Shane Dawson, who has like, 20 million followers, right? Yeah. He can post something that's just like, just just ate a piece of candy. It gets fucking 500,000 likes, whatever. Yeah. And he goes into the mall and he's acting like he's all, you know, people are chanting his name and he's like, what? What the hell? How? Where is this even coming from? What yeah. is this? It's like, dude, what the fuck are you even talking? It was the most skewed thing I've ever seen. The yeah. most like scripted bullshit i've ever seen of like reactions and stuff and it was i just wish where when am i gonna get my opportunity dude yeah i was gonna say uh, every that's fucking all, week that's, that's i come on this podcast here. that's all i'm hearing every fucking week i come on this podcast when we record it's literally just me being like when am i gonna get my shot dude? <laughs> i was watching the whole thing i remember at the time i was fucking i don't think i was or no i was on youtube then i think i was on youtube and i was getting like Dude, I was this like is, watching nah, the series hold up. And stuff. This is what hours of animation does to a fucking person. <laughs> hours and hours of writing and conceptualizing and fucking frame by frame cleans and you know the completely wrong business to go into, dude. Yeah, and then and then you see Shane Dawson. I'm just a regular guy. I'm just a regular guy. I wish, I'm just I, like you. Honestly, Jeffrey, I don't even know how to make. I mean, I see people, and he starts crying. I see people make money on here, but I never really knew how to make my own money. Yeah. It's like, bro, you sold pig merch. <laughs> like you didn't try that fucking hard. Yeah, you could have been like, I'm selling Shane Dawson pencils, and fucking girls would have been, <laughs> wee. Yeah, yeah, you could have made billions off pencils if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. It was the most, it's the most beautifully curated thing. It's the most like, it's it's a different kind of parasocial relationship with people who are uh, a different kind of audience. It's weird. You, it's the same thing like Jake Paul and Logan Paul do, where it's just like I'm badass and you are a badass if you buy my stuff. Yeah. Shane was on the opposite end of the spectrum, where it was just like, honestly, if you're quirky like me, like you're you're welcome here. Yeah. It's that kind of shit. Yeah. And it was uh, it was brilliant. I need yeah. to manipulate people in that way, dude. Yeah, no, man. I'm. I gotta say, you know, isn't it awesome when you uh, hire teams of animators and freelancers, and you spend hours to make four minutes of, you know, crafted material that, well, you know, for better or for worse, you are more or less you've worked for it, and you feel pretty proud of this four minutes you put out into the world, and you're proud mm -hmm. of the work that the people have done, and you put it out into the world, and the top comment is. LOL, okay. Yeah, okay. K, and you're like, is that a comment? You know what, though? Shame on me, you know? Yeah. Who the fuck am I? What a fucking idiot decision to do this shit, dude. <laughs> well, honestly, what a fucking... I should have just had a fucking identity crisis, gotten... Had, like, a fucking ragtag team of goofy characters and just yeah. fucking, like, uploaded garbage. Yeah. You should have... You know, dude... Who does you know what who to say that who who says that I'm not even doing that now? I'm just yeah. saying that I was a, I should have taken the different trajectory, dude. Yeah. Can I can I be serious for a second? Yeah. A funny instance of this. There was this dude who used to make StarCraft 2 commentary videos. Okay. And like on uh, YouTube or was he a streamer? I think on YouTube. Okay. And then I think he would kind of he was like a personality that would cast games at like esports events and stuff. Okay. And somewhere along the way, he figured out, wait, if I just dye my hair blonde and speak like I'm speaking to children, I can make millions of views. Oh, and then if I happen to date a very um uh, attractive person, then uh, we both can piece up on this and we can have a channel together individually and we can just open a toy car boxes and shit and we'll make tons and tons of money and so he ended up doing that and then there's this thread in like the starcraft subreddit of all these fucking guys that play starcraft that are going what what happened to him why would he do this millions of dollars bro dude my guy <laughs> my guy fucking turned on his brain and was like what the fuck am i doing <laughs> 
You know, <laughs> motherfucker went. He hey, my dude, my dude took that pill. That what's that Bradley Cooper pill? Limit uh, was Limitless a movie pill. Limitless. Yeah, yeah. He took that pill and he was like, oh wait, I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna open up Matchbox cars, and guess what? Dad's getting paid. You know what I mean? <laughs> Took a perk thirty, it relaxed his mind, and he was like, "Oh wait, yeah, duh." That's what I'm saying though, dude. There's like a level, and the thing too about Shane Dawson, the thing because I, I made a video a long time ago called Makeup after that whole drama was going on. I did a cartoon yeah. on it because there's that one thing, the oh. thumbnail I did because it was so unbelievable. It was like I forgot even what the drama was about. Do you remember that? You probably remember like when it was going on, but do you remember what it was about? I, th I think I thought who, who, who's are... the there was like a seven year old woman, the seventy year old who was on <laughs> YouTube doing makeup with him. What the fuck was her name? I don't know. I all Hattie. I remember about, all I remember about Shane Dawson was that he Rebecca. What the fuck is her name? <laughs> Ta Ta Toddy. Taddy. Toddy. Ta Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I just saying random? I'm pretty sure. No, 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 no. I think it was, it was something in that vein. I think it started with a T. Whatever. She got mad. I think because they were like, "Oh, they cut me out, or they betrayed me." It was like a weird betrayal thing. I thought Shane Dawson got out of there because they dug up all these videos of him doing blackface, and they were like, "Hold on, pal." <laughs> that I think that came after. I don't. I mean, yeah. He he had that character. <laughs> where he, which is, is, Fundamentally, that, yeah. never good in your career that someone can say, "Oh, they found your blackface material." Well, the thing about Shane is like he didn't even hide. The people back then on YouTube liked it. Yeah. 2000, 2008, <laughs> 2008 YouTube was the same as nineteen thirties vaudeville. <laughs> <And you> could, <laughs> they're like, ha, 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 ha. "Oh, it's funny. He's black." Yes. Even the comments they read almost like, <laughs> like twisting your mustache. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. This character is hilarious. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's pretty much that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it had nothing. Like the initial thing, I don't think had anything to do with the blackface thing. Oh, but th th that was like another thing. <laughs> okay, he gets okay. canceled for that every once in a while. Shane Dawson's a very interesting internet figure because he he's gone through waves. Yeah, he had his initial thing, and I'm pretty sure he got canceled for something. He went down, and there was the cat's asshole thing. He went down again. He comes back up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude, dude is a fucking phoenix. You have to give him credit. I mean, like, at a, at a certain point, you're just like, this motherfucker. I mean, he's just like, it's like watching Rocky Four. Come on, hit me, hit bro. Me. You know what I mean? He's getting hit down. And he keeps getting back up and fighting. But dude, I mean, to even like, okay, even with the whole like uh, cat sex thing, whatever it was, alleged yeah. cat sex. You know, I don't want to get sued because remember we're talking about money bags here. Okay, we can't just throw shit around about money bags. Mm. This dude could with a cease and desist on this. <laughs> He'll be like, "Hey, you listen, listen here, you little animator. I know you don't make enough money to fuck with me. So how about you shut your big old little mouth and don't ever bring up my history again." So we have to be careful with money bags here. So allegedly, the cat right. sex thing. Remember, remember, you remember the Netflix documentary? Don't fuck with cats, like. People get really upset when you no, mess I mean, with cats. No, I mean, those motherfuckers were mad, even if it was a joke or something. Yeah. And he had to come out and be like, I think he even came out and he was like, "It's this is stupid. That anybody thinks this is real or whatever. And people are just like, stop fucking your cat in the response. Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. I tell you the biggest crime he ever did. And I'm going to say that this is above. And I'm you know, I'm going to probably get stir some shit here. All right. Because <laughs> Noel, Noel, I know that you might not agree. Okay. All right. All right. This is this is more heinous than the blackface. Oh, this really? Is more, this is more heinous. Yes. Wow. Right, that's a white man. I'm going to put that out there. Wow. This is more heinous than the blackface. This is more heinous than having a parasocial do relationship document series be a giant eight series ad for people to be socially manipulated to buy makeup products that they don't really care about to support a millionaire as it is. Right. Okay. This is worse than all of that is when he proposed to his husband on two knees. Have you seen that picture? There's nothing more haunting. Corporate, nothing... can we see that in the can we see that in the in Obi the, pulled up real quick. In the fucking There is the, nothing truly more window haunting. Here. Nothing more haunting than the compressed image that someone took of Shane proposing to Ryland. Damn, that is <laughs> Okay, right there. That is crazy. There's absolutely nothing more devious than 
looking at Shane on both knees, proposing. <laughs> this is it. pure submission. This is pure submission. This is just, it's not, it's so uncanny. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Wait, why does and this, I, and why, I think why, this wait, hold on, hold on. Why does his left foot look smaller than the right foot? Bring that image back. <laughs> My left foot. <laughs> why does he look like he has yeah, a wait, little... Yeah, wait, what did Mr. B say there? What did Jimmy say? Go back to the comment section. Why does he have a little foot? Yo, what the fuck? Twitter's bugging. Just the first and only tweet on my timeline. Congrats. Oh, there you go. Look how nice that is. 2019. To think only my... <laughs> Those eyes right there. Jesus Christ. To think uh, only... Uh, to think only mere months later, everybody would just absolutely dogpile and say, I fucking yeah. hate you. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go on a limb too, dude. When I was going through and watching all this, I like to hate watch things. After a while... I, I really be began to enjoy really? the video. You'd say you're a hateful person sometimes? I think I have a little bit of a hateful bone in my body. I would say so. <laughs> off, off, uh, off, off, off recording, I'll tell you about the newest one that I'm doing. Okay. That I'm watching. I don't want to put a public beat because the person still uploads and stuff. But after a while, I really began to love Shane and his group of people. I yeah. found myself watching the videos. I was invested. Yeah. Which is how I knew I was like, this, this kind of content, it's so easy. To just be like, I fucking love this guy. Yeah. I like them. I like I, I I feel like I'm a part of the group. Yeah. That's that's your problem, dude. No one can be part of the group with you. That's why that, you can't what, be the I, what are you talking about? That that's why you can't be the hundred millionaire. You think that I do I not do you think that it's because of just the way I am, or is it because of the person I am on camera? <laughs> <laughs> do you think on camera I just I don't I don't give off cute vibes like that? Uh, I would confidently say, <laughs> all right, hey, first of all, easy, all right, let's, all right, you know, <laughs> dude, I have feelings, so go, let's, you know, you, you, you st that confidently felt very malicious, immediately, the confidently, I was like, all right, let's, for, first off, let's just hold on a second, all right, so you co you confidently say what, and I remember, the, le, le, ease, well, the brakes, you have brakes, let's, let's, use, let's use them. I would confidently say. Okay. That um, at, at moments, you can have. Okay, all right. An intimidating aura. What? What do you mean? In person or on camera? On camera. Okay. I, actually, no, 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 no. If I'm if I'm being serious, I actually yeah. think people think you're uh, you're a genuine person, but I think. <laughs> but they're wrong. Are you trying to say they're wrong? No, 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 no. no. But I think it, there's a la like going beneath the layer of your animations to get to know you. Mm. I think that bridge. Just there's not enough pathways on that bridge. So I think people uh, have this impression of you of like this manic mastermind creating like these really graphic images and they're like, oh gosh. And then they don't investigate further. And then, you know, the people that well, yeah, do investigate. Well, yeah, that's the thing. People don't want to have to dig. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So in that way, I would say people can't feel like they're part of you yet. Because they just come across Meat Canyon and they're like, whoa. Well, what about my second channel? I think your second channel is doing that. See, that's the problem is on my second channel, I don't feel like I, I come off as suave and as nice as you do on your channel. I watch your videos <laughs> and you're just like, you're like a nice warm blanket, dude. Am I? I don't I think, think so. so, dude. I think so. I like the newest the newest video you did too where you, I think you're starting to use more of those the new lights and the setup and stuff. It looks yeah. good. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. A lot more intimate. I like it. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I don't know. That's, I appreciate you saying that. I always feel like a, a, a corny guy. Who doesn't, though, right? Yeah. When you're making this yeah. kind of shit. I did a video right now. I was looking at, I was very perplexed by the amount of ghost content there is on YouTube. That's successful. Like, go, like ghost content, I don't, there must be the most gullible fucking people out bro, there to make. Because, bro, hold on. Let's just for a second remind, yeah. like, let's remind the world, okay? Mm -hmm. People shit on daytime TV. People shit on traditional TV programming. But they they figured it out. Oh, man. Every, everyone on the internet is just recreating all the shit that's on television. Yeah, every, every time that ghost we've seen hunting, anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, ghost hunting. Um, what else? Um, like, uh, you know what's huge right now is... Uh, that I, that's been popping up my feet a lot is like American pickers, like people going to garage sales and stuff. That's yes, fucking that, huge. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like Pawn Stars type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 this might be this might be bold, but.
But in a way, I've almost felt like content that revolves around like the cost of things is essentially Pawn Stars. Like when a YouTuber is like, oh, if I get this many likes, I'll buy this thing. It's just like. Oh, yeah. Well, in any kind of. That's like um, <clears throat> the kind of things where people are flaunting their wealth makes me think of like old MTV type shit or like 2000s MTV. Yeah. Yep. That era of like Jersey Shore where it was yep. like people kind of the very braggadocious era of things. Uh -huh. But even like the Pawn Stars thing, that I feel like that trickles in even with like people opening Pokemon cards or yep. whatever. Like yep. all the value-based stuff where yep. I'm hoping to get a, good, a big score. Yes. And yes. YouTube is just reflecting that. Which, you know what? The thing about that garbage content is that it's so effective. It's so simple. And that shit has the best editing of anything. Like they take this garbage and skew it into the worst, like the dumbest storylines. But through that editing magic, they know exactly how to like tap the neurons in your brain to where you're like yep. reactivated and you're yep. like fully engaged. That's why I. That's why I own. I don't. I own nine seasons of Gold Rush on Amazon Prime. I was gonna say, dude, speak from the All heart. Right? Speak from the heart. You know. You know how. You know where this hits you, dude. I do. And I yeah. watch this shit all the time. I've been watching Storage Wars. Yep. There's nothing better. I like more. You know what people say to me? You should go to the gym. You know what I do? Is when I'm stressed out, I go inside, I sit on my couch, and I watch like four and a half hours of Storage Wars. Yeah. The most scripted show on the fucking world. Bro. And I, I just sit back and I'm like, oh, I wonder what they find in this one. Oh, what the hell is that back there? Oh, you, me and my wife, I've caught this with me and my wife. We'll sit there and it'll be like, what the, what is this? And they'll go to the person and be like, yeah, this is a uh, 18th century, you know, dining set, whatever. And we're like, no way. Wow. Like out loud. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this thing could be worth, and what I like about storage wars is it's never that much money. And when I'm talking about, when I'm oh talking about God, money, dude. When I think about money, it's never like, I'm always wanting like the thing where it's like, this is going to change my life. It's always like, yeah, we bought this unit for $80 and they made, they made 600 bucks. Yeah. It's like that kind of shit. I mean, this is probably gonna be worth $600. dollars we are like, whoa, you're fully that's invested. a big win for us today. Yeah. And it's like the big winners today are Kelly and whatever with their $500 gain. It's I like, can't wow. Believe the, I can't believe they're fully getting you with fucking planted antiques. So like, that, the whole thing too is like them being, and they'll sit there and like after we're already like, oh my God, really? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, but this stuff's probably planted, right? And then the next episode, we're like, oh, my God. It's like, yeah, this yeah. is a bowling ball set. Oh, my God. Wow. Bro, why why don't you, I, I exclaimed a minute ago, because why don't you just, you should fucking just try to make an episode of, like, Storage Wars. I don't know. I The problem with that is, like, one. Isn't it fake? I feel like, like, I feel like, you... I feel like it's a lot more work than you think. Yeah, but even uh, if also... it's scripted, like being able to go and like rent a unit for a day to fill up with shit, like I would love to actually see if there was the storage auctions and actually just go. That's what I mean. Yeah, you should find out if there is one, and you should just document it. No, like no expectation to make <laughs> it should, a certain way. We should do that together in LA. I'm down. I'm go, very go down. to one and like dress eccentrically and like have crews there and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> the guy there, and then just try to like. Just try to win these bids against each other. Yeah. <laughs> we just prank everyone there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Just to drive up all the... People are... People would be pissed. Like, so mad, dude. Yeah, uh, usually we only spend $300. These motherfuckers were spitting, like, you know, like $1,200. Whoop! Right here. Yep. Up. yep. <laughs> yeah. You know what's the shitty thing, though, if we do that, is if I actually win anything, I won't be able to take anything. Yeah, I'll just I'll just have I just oh okay, yeah. That's you why I need to do it in a city that I have. <laughs> you also won't be able to bid because cartoons don't make money. So. That is true. I would be lying basically. <laughs> oh look at this! I mean, come on, like high bid, three hundred twenty bucks. Come on, bro. Oh, and see, this isn't fun either. Like this isn't. I, I, I want to be at the you, now. Ovi, do you think that this is just a website, or do you think that you'd be able to do this stuff in person? We'd probably be for able to do for audio person. listeners only. We're looking at a. Uh, a website where there's actual, yeah, storage bidding, storage units that you can buy. I mean, look at that one, sixteen hundred bucks. Who's gonna pay sixteen hundred bucks for this? And people don't realize too that when you buy the shit, you have to move the stuff out. It's the biggest. Oh, really? That's why. That's why I want to. That's why I want to. Uh, I want to own a big storage thing just so you because at the end of the day, you bid 
you bid off the storage unit if people can't uh, pay it or whatever. Yeah. And then whoever buys it, they're the people cleaning it out. You don't have to ever touch it. Oh, that's amazing. You know what I'm talking about? That's where the fucking profit comes from. Yeah, everyone's, from. everyone's mad at landlords. We got to get mad at the storage people, bro. That's what I'm saying, dude. I want to be a landlord that people are mad at. Yeah. No, oh, so saying. then so then you want to be a landlord because, you know, yeah, storage yeah, yeah. people, I don't they're give a fuck. under if, the radar. I don't radar. give a fuck about any of that bullshit. I'm telling you that I want people to... I want, I want to be making so much money, and I'm the fucking devil on their shoulder, dude. <laughs> yeah, hey, I want to sit down with a couple, like a couple in like Bushwick, Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, hey, guys. Um, So we're going to have to raise the rent about 400 bucks. I know. Yeah. Property tax, right? Uh, So just so you know, that's going to come into effect next week. So, yeah. um, you know, if you guys want to, feel free. I just want to let you guys know that if you guys leave, I'm going to raise it regardless. And there's a line out the door. Of people who yeah. want this place. So you feel free to stay if you want. But if not, you got to go. That's the kind of position I want to be in. You know and then what I mean? When they, and then when they call you to be like, yeah, we, we can scrap the money together. We'll do it. You'll go, remember that line I told you about? We're going to have to go 600 more a month. Yeah, exactly. I'm so actually, sorry. Actually, now that I got you, now that I got you by the collar, we're going to go 600 Okay. <laughs> All right. And honestly, we're going to need another security deposit. That's the kind of landlord I want to be. I want to be one of the landlords that ethically knows how wrong it is to have seven families living in one apartment. Yeah. Or like not even seven families, but like seven individuals. Like people are renting out rooms yeah. to pay for yeah. the apartment itself. Yeah. And be like, you know what? I know it's a fire code, but whatever. Hey, whatever helps you pay the rent. It's okay. It's okay. And, and then they're calling me and they're like, hey, the fridge is broke. I don't ever answer it. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll get to it. Never get to it. Hey, we found asbestos in the uh, in the wall on accident. No, those are cobwebs. No, it's that, like really dusty. Response. We're like, <laughs> no, I think the yeah, kids are coughing. breathing it in. I'm really sick. Yeah, it's probably those. You're probably allergic to spiders. Yeah, we. Where are you from again? Nebraska. Yeah, we got different kinds of spiders here in New York. Yeah, you're gonna want to dust that out. Just dust it out. Maybe put a like a bandana over your face or something. You'll be fine. Hey. Uh, Mr. Mr. Hancock, sir, uh, me and the unit below, our lungs are hurting, and we found mold. You probably have asthma. You were thinking about that. You have health insurance? No, I might. Yeah, um, see, that's that's tough, because if you had health insurance, I'd recommend, there's a great doctor about three blocks away. I use them all the time. It's just, I can't, I can't afford. You know what you should anyone. do? You should go to that new organic bodega on the corner up there. I can't quite afford to shop there either. So no, just, just don't. You don't have to shop. It's just really nice in there. If you ever need air conditioning, you can stand in there. Okay. Well, that brings up another point is I think the air conditioning is leaking Freon and mm. um, it no longer works in the summertime. But back to the mold. I No, I'll get to that. We'll get it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I would say in the meantime, just take a broom and just start batting at it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, All right, bye. take care. Hey, just for to let you guys know, too, like I said, the payment's on the 20th. You guys, you did the 21st, which I'll let it slide this time, but there's going to be late fees moving forward, okay? All right, thanks, sweetheart. Have a good one. <laughs> That's the kind of land I want to be. See, I, I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, man. I think you got to stay in animation. We can't let you get rich. You'll some be guy's a like, fucking devil, some, some, dude. Some woman's like, I can't pay it, and I got my women, my, or I got my children to feed. I'm like, they got... That's they have hands, don't they? Right? <laughs> yeah. So why aren't they working? Yeah, get out there. That's weird. You saw the hey, you saw that shit in a you probably not, but it was like a month or two ago. Like I think Tennessee legalized like labor at fourteen or something. <laughs> really? The only thing recently I've kept up with in terms uh, of state news is uh, as I, as I saw, I think I saw Montana. I think they banned TikTok yeah, they banned TikTok, in TikTok man. How do you enforce that? I had such yeah, that's such a crazy thing. Can you imagine getting arrested? And the <laughs> all right, cops open the like, phone. Let's see it. O man. Open the phone. What's your passcode? Use your face ID. You're like Come sitting on. there looking. Like you won't let the face ID. He's like trying to hold it in front of you like that. You're hey, like, hey, 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 hey! Stop moving. Just Stop do moving. <laughs> Bill, just type in all ones. No, don't do that. Uh, got it. There it is. See okay. Here. Yep. He has it down. How the fuck? What the fuck did I even do with this cord? Jesus Christ. There we go. Wrapped it around my arm. As the sheer power of your fucking, your, your act out, dude, it yanked your headphones out of the fucking socket, man.
I got a, the cord got tied, tied around my arm and it made me think of something. When you were a kid and you went to grocery stores, did you ever put, used to put your arm in the medical, medical machine? Oh, to check I thought your, you were going to, I thought you were going to ask me if I'd shoot up with my mom. Oh. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know either. That That's crazy. Okay. I would, uh, I would try and then I get in a lot of trouble. So I, I would never, I used to get really, I used to think it was fun at first and then it got too tight and I would start to panic. <laughs> And then the people would be like, D don't pull. And I'd be like, huh. And I'd start hypoventilating. And I'd be like, huh. And try to pull out. And that's like the worst thing you want to do. You don't want to yeah. move at all. You want to stay still. And the guy's like, stop moving. And he's yelling in my ear. And I'm getting really anxious. I'm like, huh, okay. And he's just like, stop. Just stop moving. You're, you're jittering. Calm down. Like yelling at me. And I'm like, that's the opposite way to calm somebody down. So I'm freaking out. And I'm like, huh. And it finally did the, and it yeah. let all the air. And you're like, huh, huh. You pull your arm out. And you're like, I'm never going to do that again. Yeah. But the next next week, when I, me and my grandpa would go eat, breakfast at high V. sure enough i'd see it peek over i'm like uh oh and i go back over and i do it all over again the first is like ah, not you again <laughs> you're gonna start pulling me again I'm gonna, I, just, ah. I just picture you going out with grandpa and then they're you walking into the fucking cvs and there's the little car or the horse that you put the quarter in and you can mm. ride it and you're like grandpa what about that one he's like we're gonna ride a different game <laughs> we're gonna ride a different horse it's called Grandpa's Fight to Survive. I'm like, I don't like this game, Grandpa. <laughs> you sit down and look at your <laughs> blood pressure. All right, let's check out this blood pressure. Let's see what this is. <laughs> oh, these are rookie numbers. <laughs> You're going to eat white toast today instead of wheat. Yeah, I don't yeah. want white toast. Yeah, he's making you get fucking... <laughs> come on, come on, Hunt. Don't you want yeah, the high score? Why don't are you, you being want such a pussy about this? That's not appropriate to say to your... Eight-year-old grandson, whatever. Eat the cheeseburger. My, my grandpa used to always be like, he was kind of one of those old dudes. We'd go into some place all the time. He was like a regular. He was going uh, to the same spot. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd always be the kind of guy to be like, you know, you stand in trouble. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you're like, God. and the, uh, you when you're a kid, you don't really register it. And you're like, that's silly. Yeah. Right. And then you get older, and you're like, oh God. Yep. Like, come on. Thank you. All right, Grandpa. Grandpa, stop. You have to manhandle him because he's like yeah. old. You can just, you can, basically at a certain age, it's fun with grandparents. Well, I like, I always like hanging out with my grandparents when they get to a certain age because they're like fucking animals. Yeah. You, you Like, you get to like, be like a, you ever see somebody just like yank their dog? Come on. You oh, do yeah. that with your, with your, with your grandparents. Yeah. You're, you're hey, <laughs> hey, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Come on. Oh, and your, oh, oh, your grandfather oh. just checking out the cashier in his fucking 56K yeah. ass brain. He's like, where's, just, yeah, where's, yeah. where's Mark at today? Yeah. Is your boy, hey, your boyfriend been treating you right? Grandpa, let's go, dude. Let's grab go. His, grab by the fucking shirt collar and start yanking him along. They don't have good balance and they fall over. He's so old. Sorry. Just fucking like rolling like a fucking barrel out the door. Just go watch. get the car. I can't get up. You're getting up on your own. Come on. That's why I say he's sitting there. He can't feel it. He hasn't been able to feel his like feet for like 30 years. Some weird medical condition that doesn't make any sense. I don't know where I am. <laughs> Dude, you're you're going to be a crazy old guy. I'm not. I told we've talked about this. Before, I'm not going to make it past 33. Why do you just like why? why not I'm just try? being completely realistic with you. Why not just try? I try so hard <laughs> i don't even want to hear it. yeah i give yeah, it's, it's, no no well don't face, shut the dude. fuck up because listen i give everything to the game <laughs> you do give everything to the game i give every i give every ounce of my being yeah to this little to this little fucking game this little charade we call life dude yeah yeah and guess what dude yeah i am not winning one of these days, and people in the comments will probably agree with me, they're going to look back and they're going to be like, what a fucking tortured soul. This guy gave it his all. People are going to talk about me like Nolan Ryan. No, they won't. When I'm on my deathbed, people are going to applaud me like Cal Ripken Jr.'s last game. And I'm going to keep using baseball references so no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> people are going to look at me like I'm Cal Ripken Jr. waving. A they're going to say, there he goes. That guy, we never gave him a chance. So people are going to say on the way out, we never gave you a chance and I regret it. I'll be there to deny all that. <laughs> hey, no, you, you're not going to be anywhere near. <laughs> I'll be there. Then. I, if, if, if I'm at your fucking funeral, we I'll We should have gave you a shot. No, I'll be right there front and center on podium at your funeral. 
Get them off! That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Get them out of here! <laughs> I'm like I'll, trying. To, uh, I'll be putting a fucking Planet Fitness fucking <laughs> subscription on your chest as they send you down. It's an, I'll active, still, it's an active lunk alarm that's just yeah. going off that you just place on my chest. And I'll still be yelling at you. I'll be like, get on the fucking elliptical Hunter Hancock. I gave it all I could, Noel. No, so you say. did it. I'll be dragging you 110% out 110% for the cause. I'll be, say. I'll be rolling your corpse to a fucking CrossFit <laughs> class. <laughs> to an Orange Theory class? To an Orange the Theory <laughs> class. I'll be rolling you to an Is Orange, orange theory, theory at class. Ponzi? Have you heard of anybody that goes to Orange Theory? What the no, fuck is Orange Theory? No, dude. I, 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 I fucking agree with you in that Like when you see them, it never looks like anyone's working Yeah, you're like, what? it's like a Jehovah Witnesses church. Yeah, you're like dude. you're like looking in, you're like, what the <laughs> yeah, fuck dude. is this? <laughs> and it's all the fucking, it's all the mob wives going in there pretending to ride bikes and shit, yeah, exactly. but they're just counting money. <laughs> I'm working on myself today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Today's the my door. Orange Theory day. Yeah, Did exactly. we collect from the fucking uh, senior home? Did we yeah, collect? Exactly. Where the fuck is Bobby Bashushka? <laughs> he was supposed to come in and give us our cut. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. He's supposed to be giving us. Where the fuck is he? Okay, We spray, need our cut from Kansas City. All spray right? some water on my forehead. I'm going to go collect from the ice cream store. She walks out with the yoga mat. Oh my god! It's like, oh my god! What a workout! Yeah, they Just changed their voice entirely. Cheese riddled thighs. Yeah. Oh my god! What a what a big calorie burner! Looks like cottage cheese just drooping out of fucking like yoga pants. Careful, man! You're making it sexy. You're, that's not making it yeah, sound uh, bad. Why am I getting hard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why am not, I hard? Right you're now? not describing something that sounds fucking bad. Actually, I wanted to uh, ask you something too before I forget. Uh -huh. I like, keep meaning to ask you, and I figured, why not on the pod? Yeah, yeah, in right of, in front of millions. Yeah. Yeah, in front of a million. In front of the 30 people that watch this podcast. Hey, thank you, 30 people who watch this. What are you talking about? 30 million, Th dude. Thanks for, thanks for clicking in. This podcast is bigger than Drake. Come on. What am I doing here? Right? Yeah. Is that Drake? I don't know. The, uh, what am I doing? What was it like? Uh, you, you, were on a, you, were on the, you were on a big boy podcast, dude. You were on the Andrew Schultz thing. How was it? Oh, dude. Yeah. That was great. Schultz was... Uh, Schultz, Akash, Mark... Alex, um, all very nice guys, man. Do his they, buddies only call him Schultz? Are you like on name basis like that? Me and I think, Schultz. I think everyone refers to him as Schultz. Uh, so he, what's his first name? Andrew. So if you sat there and you were like, yeah, man, Andy was great. Like that kind of, do you think you have that kind of relationship with him? The thing is, man, uh, him and, and, and I want to credit all the guys at Flagrant were so welcoming to me that I think I could speak a about them like that in passing and they they would roll it off the shoulder like they wouldn't be like hey i'm fucking mr i'm fucking yeah, yeah, mr yeah. schultz to you i don't think any of them would act yeah. that way so yeah no it was great they uh they were super supportive even like after the show um mark akash andrew they were all just like talking to me about doing spots in new york and like off you know damn just, just that's cool me, yeah, just letting me know, like, hey, I'm going to be over here. If you want to drop by, check it out. Mark tried to get me on a spot, but um, I was, like, pretty wiped, so I couldn't do it. And, you know, that's the crazy thing about New York is as soon as I touched down, like, the comedy people that I know, um, they hit up the people they knew, and, like, those promoters were just instantly like, yo, man, yeah, if you want to pop in and do 10 or do 5, like, come on out. And yeah, I just thought that was sick. You know, I, I hear a lot. Just very a lot of hospitality then, huh? Yeah, yeah, I always hear about how New York is just great for that, and, it, you know, I mean, every every fucking, everything has, like, a cool kids club, but my experience so far has just been, like, people at all levels just being super welcoming, which is, which is dope, because it's I, yeah, sorry. Ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I don't assume that type of treatment, just because I think uh, most people know me as, like, a, quote, YouTuber, so I think, you know, for them to just not even care and to be like, yeah, come on, I, I thought that was cool. Yeah, that is cool. That yeah. I mean, it makes me think like, um, like, it's just interesting. Like, do you think, how am I, how do I even say this? Like, because it's cool, that kind of hospitality and stuff. Like, do you think like you, do you think like you and Cody will use that then moving forward? Uh, what do you mean? Like, you know how whenever I first went on the show, you guys basically like you wouldn't like if I said your first name, you wouldn't really acknowledge me, but I had to use like Mr. and then your last name, <laughs> which is a really weird thing because like I can't I, I, can't, I still today cannot even pronounce Cody's last name. I was like, <laughs> he's like, say it all the way through. Hey, like, hey, man. Hey, man. Don't try. We told you. Don't try. Yeah. So don't and it try. took I mean, it's taken. I've known you for almost 
God, almost like two years now or something. What, like that. what, do, what like, do we say? What do you? What do you? What do you? Well, so I, I just wanted to say, me? like, do you, do you think that you will use that kind of hospitality with your guests moving forward? Listen, Hunter. We because we listen, dude. Hey, no, no, listen, no, 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 listen. Because I get it. If we went through this, because I get it. Because I'm not the draw I know Brittany Broski is. Right. Listen, listen. Brittany Broski's going around saying Noel and Cody all the time. Right, Hunter. Hunter I had to earn my this. right. Hunter. I had to earn my right. Hunter, we know we talked about this. It took it took a viral Mighty Joe Young clip to let me kind of get into the fucking to the hey, inner circle. Hey, hey. All right. Hey, Hunter, we talked about mm. this. If you work hard enough, and if the numbers do well, <laughs> we can move on from Mister Daddy Warbucks to just Mister Warbucks. <laughs> no, Mister Warbucks. Just... I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And if one we of these days, growing, these numbers, these analytics, dude, I'm telling you. You'll be able to refer to me by first name off camera, and that's the privilege I'm yeah, working that is towards. The Remember this? Remember I'm trying. This? I'm trying. I know. Yeah. I just didn't know if that experience, like the humility and the hospitality, if that would translate over. But I, I get it. <laughs> no, I, I, I was confused. No, I, I know. I'm, when I was I'm there, they were being so nice to me. I'm like, why do this? Yeah. What it's the so... fuck? You realize how much power you hold over me? Yeah. Why do this? Yeah. What the it's, fuck is? It's this? not necessary. Treat me like shit. That's what exactly. I do. Yeah. Exactly. No. Um. Yeah, no, you'll, you, no, I'll never let you call me by my first name off camera, but... I'll never let you. I start to do it, and you just fucking <laughs> slap me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Stop every, no, every, that. Th every time you call me my first name, there's a hard cut in the footage, <laughs> and your face is getting progressively redder. And my eyes just, like, swelled up and, like, yeah. just teary-eyed. I'm like... <laughs> so, Shane Dawson. Yeah, right, so, Hunter. anyways, I, was, I thought that that was kind of a crazy... I thought that was kind of a crazy clip. Me too, Hunter. I thought it was a really crazy clip. Did you have any other thoughts you wanted to share? Can't wait. Can't wait for the races later this year. Yeah. Neither can I. Neither can I. <laughs>